Good morning. Finally getting around to finishing off my colour inspiration journal 3D thing. Right, okay, so <laughs> I done I did my flowers, you've seen those. Um so what I've done is I've made a little pot and um it's English paper paste and the shape let me just grab that. Um I don't know if you did the pin cushion with me, it's this shape here, okay. And that's all I've done, and I've made it sort of look like a little castle. Put a hexagon on the bottom because you're going to see the bottom. You're not going to see inside, so I didn't bother to line everything. Um, because what I'm going to do, well, what I'm thinking of doing, I don't know yet, um, is using this Hobbycraft Super Light air drying clay. It's black. I'm going to put a big ball of it in there, and then I'm going to wire the flowers. I was just playing around with the wiring. And then just sort of arrange them in there. It'll do, won't it? I might have to run. I'm, I'm waiting for the post lady to come and collect something. So if I suddenly have to run, I'll, I shall pause your... But um, what I'm doing at the moment, I've got one of the wires. Um, they're just um, florist wire type things. And I've just folded it in half and uh, twisted it together. So I've just put it underneath here managed to catch one of the threads so what I'm sort of contemplating is I'm looking like that I'm going to cut it quite short I don't want it massively tall so anyway we're going to play around with that so there you go <laughs> I hope you're having a good day it is absolutely I was going to say chucking it down of course it's going to make me a liar because it's actually stopped for a minute but um I went out for a walk with my daughter first thing this morning in the forest and we got soaked and I mean it even went through a Gore-Tex which um, rarely rarely happens but it did um, I think my Gore-Tex is getting very old now though so it's not the Gore-Tex's fault but uh, yeah and I had that gap you know the one where it runs off your coat and my coat isn't long enough to touch the top of my wellies so my knees absolutely so <laughs> god even the dog was looking at us like are we carrying on in this weather yes we are it's your walk yeah so anyway that's about as exciting as my day is going to get today because um she's got loads of walks to do caroline and she said I said to her, I'll, I'll come out with you at four o'clock. She does a big Doberman at four o'clock. And um, I love that dog. Um, but I said to her, she, it, it's a faff for her to come and pick me up because I'm at the other end of the village. So I said to her, actually, thinking about it, you just crack on with your day, babe. So she said, yeah, I will do. So, yeah, so she's healing slowly, bless her. So she's getting much more resilience now she's not been ill I'll... yeah in a little while i will fill you in if you want to know you might not really want to know so anyway right okay so you're nice and stiff let's just chop your bottom off yeah it's one of those that i'm i'm kind of like oh, i don't know what i want to do you know and i, I saw this sat on the side and i thought just get this done because it's been kind of on your to-do list for ages because uh, it's all been you know sort of sat there ready so um yeah i think this could work actually right one more of those and like i say i don't want them sticking i don't want it coming up high so um i think i think it'll work see the sun's coming out now <laughs> it's rain sun rain sun Both the girls uh, that do the dog walking, they both put on WhatsApp this morning. I'm quitting my job. <laughs> and the other one said, yeah, me too. Because <laughs> yesterday was exactly the same. It absolutely hammered it down here yesterday. So, but, you know, it's Easter weekend, for goodness sake. It's meant to be nice. Usually, but then it's really early this year, isn't it, Easter? usually um sort of mid-april so well it was last year because it was glorious last year but never mind 
it's England. It's what keeps it a green and pleasant land. I keep reminding them. And they both went, yeah, well, we've had enough now. <laughs> it can stop. Mind you, everywhere is flooded. So, yeah, it's really... In fact, um, where we take Hades uh, in the forest, you can see Dartmoor. And um, there was snow up on Dartmoor. So, um, yeah, but it's quite high up there. So it's not unusual for it to be snowy up there and not down here so we're more in a in a valley if you like so you didn't go very tight did you yeah i've well, got no plans for the weekend um my middle daughter is down in london they're doing the harry potter experience with her child scarlet and um his two children, he's picking those up from Wales. Oh, I obviously didn't stick you guys on, did I? Uh, yeah, so um, they're all off to London. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> That's not my idea of a... Oh, crikey, sorry. It got stuck to the jar it sits in. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Uh, I think I watched... I managed to watch one of the... the films that they did but you know my two colleagues are harry potter mad and i'm like yeah lovely no <laughs> it's not my kind of thing i don't know why it just isn't i remember watching the first one but that was kind of enough for me so yeah yeah so anyway they're off to do that because it's um I think it was a sort of like part of um, Scarlett's birthday present. I mean, her birthday's in January, but I think they kind of, you know, wanted to do the experience with all of the kids. So, um, yeah, you're not going to stick, are you? You should do. Because that's that three in one. They're sewn them on actually. They got yeah, they got holes. All right, if they don't stick, we'll do that. Right, let's um give those a minute. Um, yeah. Yeah, post is coming. I've got a returner. Um, Mackie has got a uh, mackerel, the cat. She's got a big scratch pole downstairs, and she well, we've I've had it years, and um, it was kind of falling apart. And so I thought, oh, I'll get her a new one because I was just trying to remember. It must be about seven years she's had it. And because she doesn't go out, she doesn't scratch trees or anything. And that's her choice not to go out. She's got a cat flap. She'll go and sit in the garden if I'm out there. Do you know what I mean? That She's that kind of cat. Um, so I thought, oh, I'll buy her a new one. Payday, you know. Yeah. Anyway, I ordered this, <laughs> ordered this cat tower. And bearing in mind that Mackie is quite the chonker of a cat. Um, I put it together and I thought she's going to scratch on that once and it will it'll come down and bop her one on the head. It did have a strap that you could fix it to the wall, but being a renter, I'm not allowed to do that sort of thing or not supposed to. Um, so yeah, so it's going to have to go back. So. Yes, but when I decided that, I thought, well, let me have another look at her current one. So I was able to, um, I had some seesaw rope, so I just rewrapped the poles. So basically I I just made the old one new again. So yeah, I should have done that in the first place, shouldn't I? Oh, hello, you've moved. I don't think that's going to be tall enough, but then as I say, I don't really want them massive. I don't want them massively tall. I can put that there. These can sort of go in there. No, I think that might be enough actually. So I shall continue with that height. Right, okay. Yes, yeah, so let's all go here. <laughs> Exciting life, isn't it? So I saved myself £22 basically. So. I'm not buying anything else now. I've got the West Point show next Friday, so um sorry, is that the postie? No. 
um yeah i've got the west point show next week next friday i don't know if i'm going to be able to video i'm going to try but it's very awkward um i don't think they do a podcaster's day um like the one in where did they hold it east anglian yarn festival they actively encourage people to you know share and blog and all the rest of it because you know for them it's free advertising at the end of the day if we put it on our channels but um i suppose i'll to contact west point really and just sort of say to them you know is there a blogger's day but i don't think there is i'm pretty sure there isn't but um i'll i'll ask when i'm there this time and then um there's another one Oh, this yeah so there's another one in september which is the big um the big ichf company who do the one in birmingham so yeah i don't know they might have something so oh yeah cool okay right let's let those sit for a bit let's get this package of stuff open and we'll stuff it in there i might actually make some little like a ball and shove it up the the thing there and that'll hold that even better so and then it'll be done this stuff's only a pound it is odd but and i seem to remember it stains your fingers as well not too bad i'll just put those there for now Oh, squidgy witty. I don't know. They must have changed their formula. And it's air dry, so that's ideal. It should dry fairly quickly, to be fair. So if I shove that in there, I don't think it needs sticking down, so. thinking is something like this obviously I've got to stick these in before it dries um, should I do that have a front and a back I think I will let's just pop a I was going to thread it up there but I think that would be messy let's just make a ball under here Oops, dishwasher's finished. Can you go and empty it, please? Thanks. I love my little dishwasher. I've got such a... Well, it's not a small kitchen, but it's very, very fitted, which means that you can't... You can get a... I know in the States you don't have your washing machines in your kitchens, but we do here. And um, so you get a choice between a washing machine or a dishwasher. But I've got one of those little half ones. Oh, do you know what? It's just enough for me. It's absolute godsend. I actually, I, well, it's going to sound like a weird, <laughs> wimpy excuse, but I'm actually really allergic to washing up liquid, all of them. So I have to wear gloves and I never feel that, um, I don't know, I just, I like to feel that what I'm washing up. So, you know, obviously for me, I have to be so careful if I do have to wash up by hand, um, I have to be super careful that I get every single bit off. I've lost one. Can you see it? Ooh. -er. I did three of them. Oh, there it is. Hiding behind the pot. Fine. Um, yeah, so my daughter introduced me to these little half-size dishwashers. I didn't even know they existed, I'll be honest with you. So it kind of fits in the top of a cupboard. And, um, yeah, I've got it all plumbed in. It's bloody marvellous. It's just big enough. It only goes on every other day. I don't, um, it doesn't go on every day. Can you pop up a bit? Are you really short? You are, aren't you? Maybe longer. <laughs> Not really. Put you there. I'm not a flower arranger, as you can probably tell. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. 
All right, so we've got a really simple, let me see what you can see. Yeah, really simple little bouquet. And yes, there's going to be a gap at the back, but that's fine, because what I think I'll do is position it so that it looks like that. I like it. Let's see if I floof those around a bit, it'll hide everything then. Cool. Right, I'm calling it done. So there's my little posy. When that air dry clay dries, it'll be um it'll be nice and solid. And it's nice and light as well. So being light. Cool. I like it. That's it. It's off my desk now. Hurrah. Should put uh, should put it there like that. That way. There. Right. I'll give you a I'll do a picture at the end and uh, you can see the full effect. I like it a lot. Bro, done. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye.